This is a list of my favorite sneakers I've been rocking a lot for this fall season. I've already made one in 2019 and to recap because I don't want to make the same exact videos I did last year. It was a Jordan 1, Vans, Air Force 1s, Yeezy Power Phases, and any New Balance sneaker. For 2020, I'm going to start the list off with the Nike SFB Field 2 boot. This isn't a sneaker, it is a boot. I just had to include it in the list because it's a great start to get into boots. I like to think of these as a sneaker turned boot. I mean it's Nike, the number one footwear brand out there that's mainly known for their sneakers. Like you, hearing Doc Martens, St. Laurent's, and Miri's, and all these other boots could be quite intimidating, and so you just end up never picking up a boot. That was totally me. Well, with these, like many of us, we have that brand association with Nike. It was a less intimidating and easy barrier to hop over, and I think it's a perfect gateway boot. And now I'm looking to pick up a ton of other boots for my collection once I'm not so poor for buying all these plants. Oh, look at that. Anyways, these boots are made from Gore-Tex, so they're breathable, weatherproof for the city precipitation or hiking, not super heavy, and is very durable. You can tell that these are gonna last a long time. I like to rock these in more techy type of settings, but you can just rock it as an alternative to, let's say, Chelsea boots or Jordan 1s definitely made me appreciate boots on a whole nother level. Alternatively, you can swap these out for Tim's, but just wanted to get the word out there on these specific ones. Now, the Akron Impresto. 2016 Sneaker of the Year, Earlson Hugh revamped an old dying classic, the Nike Presto, and brought them back with this design, and now the Prestos have been doing pretty well for Nike, and even have their own weird collaborations. These are the 2018 models, by the way, which are the same exact design as the 2016 ones. It just came out with three new colorways, the Racer Pink, Cool Gray, and Dynamic Yellow, which is the one I have right here. These sneakers just felt weird rocking in the summer. I mean, they're neon, bright, and colorful. Shouldn't they be perfect for summer? Not really because it was just too damn hot to rock these. Yes, they're quite breathable, but that don't mean the pants to complement these were very breathable. Plus, I never really liked how they looked with shorts either, so I think I only wore these once in the summer, and that was just for a video, but now I believe it's the perfect time it might be for you guys as well. Look how cheap they are now compared to the OG ones from 2016. I could fully lean into the dystopian vibes that these give off and go full performance gear, which is always something I enjoy doing. Or you could half lean into it with a more street techie fit like I have here. Prestos, waterproof cargo pants, a simple oversized shirt, and a beanie. The 2016 Prestos were worn in so many ways, and now I really only see them in tech fits. I do wish people wore these more as just a normal sneaker replacement, because you don't need tech pants, but I do think cargo pants are an essential to complement these sneakers, just like you can pick up your essentials with today's video sponsor, Essentials. Let me thank them real quick for supporting the channel. Use my discount code JTI to save some money on your order. Essentials is a brand started by the Zanigas over at TG Men's Fashion, and of course, with their brand name, they focus on essentials for men. We all know how important essentials are to the wardrobe, and this launch is one that I'm super excited for you guys, and that is because they are dropping a ton of new items to expand their audience. Because I believe it was mainly me wearing their items with more street outfits. Because they were focused on mainly fitted clothes in the past, which is something I still very much love. However, today, Saturday, October 10th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, they're dropping their new oversized tees. 100% a piece I can get behind along with their newly designed cargo pants. The Essentials oversized tee has that perfect cut in my opinion, has that drop shoulder and is in this slate gray colorway, which is my favorite wash for a tee by the way and it's not too overly baggy. Overall, I feel this item is so easy to throw on and I highly recommend picking this up before they sell out in a heartbeat. And I have all the colors of their cargo pants. Definitely recommend these even though these are the first gen. The second gen is just as awesome. And another awesome piece, the Essentials Backpack. It's actually really well designed and has a suitcase compartment. That's pretty awesome. You can definitely throw on a more comfortable outfit like some athleisure in there. But the launch of this new backpack is quite special for you guys. They've put 5k cash in three bags. And since it is a limited size run, you actually have a pretty decent chance to win that $5,000. You can stack some essentials bread if you pick one up. The bag does sell in a bundle. The streetwear one, definitely want to roll with this one if I were you guys. You got the casual one and the fitness one. They do, as always, sell out super fast, always within a day or two. So do us both a favor, hit the link in the description, pick up an oversized tee or the backpack bundle with my discount code JTI. And once again, thank you Essentials for sponsoring today's video. And back to the next sneaker, which are Vans. This was included in last year's list, so I'll be really quick with it. But I have two specific models I've been rocking a lot, and that is the Vans Checkered Slip-On Pros and the Vans Chucka Pros. And a very important reminder, do not get the lifestyle model. Please don't do that. I am telling you, it is a waste of money. Pick up the Pro model. Reason being is that the Pro model is only $5 more. You get enhanced durability on the canvas. It has their Pop Cush insole, which offers stability, comfort, and impact protection 
you ever decide to skate stairs. Obviously, most of y'all won't be doing that, but again, it's only $5 more, and look at that insole difference. I'm telling you, don't waste your money on the lifestyle ones, even the comfy cush ones, those are $10 more, and you don't get the enhanced durability. And who knows, Tony Hawk, Skater XL, and Session have brought the passion back for skating, for a lot of people and skate 4 is happening you might end up picking up a board in the future and i know you're probably asking isn't it gonna be cold aren't these for summertime well not to worry because i really like rocking these with colored crew socks under a durable pair of pants like the carhartt dungarees the vans slip-ons were the only sneaker i wore during my road trip back to new york city almost 3,000 miles that was the only sneaker I wore. They go with anything, easy to throw on, and it's my favorite. And I personally skate the Chuckas a lot more for better ankle supports. And plus, with any pair of Vans, the wear and tear that comes from everyday activities adds character to the sneaker, and it just gets better over time. And of course, it's the cheapest sneaker on this list. Pick one of these up if you could. Next sneaker I've been rocking a ton since receiving a few days ago, and that is a collaboration between Converse and a cold wall. And my goodness, these are beautiful. If you guys saw my last video, you could tell how much I love these. It's been one of the best pickups in a long time. Because I haven't really liked a piece of footwear as much as these since the Nike Element 87s when they first dropped a few years back. These have a military boot vibe, like something coming out of Rogue One or Cyberpunk 2077. I just leaned into it and rocked a techie dystopian fit. But I'll rock these in a casual street fit as well. A cold wall did drop the carbon black ones, which are probably more versatile, but the choice is yours. And since I got a lot of questions on these, they are heavy, like thick, <laughs> heavier than my Nike boots, even though they are smaller. Definitely go a half to a full size down with these. I went with the half size down at 10 and a half, and still I have plenty of room. And because they are kind of like a boots and they're weather resistant, they're just perfect for the fall vibes. Next up, the white leather Oliver Cabell Lowe's. So white leather sneakers commonly associated with summer and apparently not after labor day what a stupid rule anyways white sneakers especially leather ones will never go out of style and they are a year-round sneaker to me it adds a necessary brightness and color contrast on your outfit to an otherwise muted color palette of the fall and winter season and yes they are low top but like with the vans pair it with some crew socks and it easily slides into your fit and complements it. Plus it's easy to clean, it's versatile, and just fresh and crispy. I always wear it with straight cut pants and colored crew socks, but as always, they're beautiful with slim skinny pants as well. The following sneakers are two sneakers that are great alternatives to Vans, and I've just been personally wearing it a lot, and that is the Niger 2s and the Kariuma Katiba Pros. A great switch up if you're bored of Vans and want to expand your horizons. Niger's are a beautiful skate sneaker that has an athletic almost runner silhouette, but skates like any cup sole sneaker. And the white colorway that I have is pretty much an off-white eggshell color and is decently comfortable Although if you have narrow feet, these may be a little bit too tight for you And I basically treat these like vans in terms of styling in terms of skating. They're completely different I can't seem to get my flick right with these So I'll just stick to vans for skating and along with the ninjas is another alternative a new skate sneaker brand called Kariuma and their Katiba pros have been making a splash You see them all over the barracks and various influencers shouts out to Ben DeGroe one of my favorite skate channels on YouTube. What's cool about these kicks is if you pick one up, they're gonna plant two trees and you're supporting the future of fashion, sustainable fashion. And they have an off-white one just like the Nijas and are relatively the same price, hence why I put them in the same category. And the last sneaker is the Element 55s. And these are on here because the Element 87s are too breathable. <laughs> and your toes are going to get super cold whenever you rock those even with crew socks. I've already made a video on style tips with these, I'll leave a link in the description. Perfect for athleisure, perfect for techie fits, and priced very well as well. And those are my top 7 sneakers and boots that I've been appreciating and wearing a lot during this fall season. Let me know what your list would be in the comments down below. Check out Essentials in the description, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe.